This shop is making over $3,000 in revenue on a monthly basis by selling a digital product that is currently one of the least competitive niches on Etsy. And if you're tired of Etsy videos, you'll be happy to know that you can sell this product on other websites such as Creative Market, Freepik, and Envato Elements. Today, I'll show you how to create and sell frame mockups. Now, the reason this niche has much less competition than other digital products is that it requires a bit more work and time to put together. But in this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step the fastest and simplest way to make high quality mockups like this using a combination of AI and Adobe Photoshop. On top of that, I have a completely free prompting guide in the description with over 10 prompts, which you can use to generate your own products should you decide to give this business a try. So without further ado, let's get into it. So using an Etsy analytics tool called Allura, I looked at a couple of shops and this one has made over $100,000 selling frame mockups exclusively for the past two years. Now, you're right, 100,000 is not a lot to make in two years, but there's a catch. This same shop is also selling the very same products on Creative Market, and they also have a Shopify store where they sell them to buyers directly without having to pay commission to any e-commerce sites. So by offering the very same products across three different platforms, they are most likely making well over $150,000 per year. These frame mockups are super easy to generate and there's basically an endless amount of variations you can create, which we're gonna check out later in the video. Now there's two ways you can sell this product. You will first generate the mockups in an AI tool called Midjourney. From there on, you can either sell them straight as JPEG or PNG files on Etsy, or you can import them into Photoshop, make a few changes and sell them as PSD templates for buyers to edit. The second option is the more professional approach because it allows buyers to add the art into their mockups seamlessly. And you can also sell mockups where the frame is not just seen from the front, but from the side as well. Include shadows and lights on the art itself, making the whole product more professional and realistic. Now Photoshop isn't free, but there is a 7 day free trial. You can also use Photopy as a free alternative. The steps on doing that are almost exactly the same, but I personally prefer Photoshop as it's faster and more convenient. If you're new to Photoshop, don't worry, I'm going to walk you through this step by step so you can follow along even if you're a complete beginner. Okay, so first, let's cover how to create mockups in multiple forms and styles using an AI tool called Midjourney. To get started, just head on over to midjourney.com and click on join the beta. Now, before we start generating images, we need to type forward slash settings, hit enter twice, and we want to make sure we're using Midjourney version 5. I wouldn't recommend using version 5.1 if you have it available here. It's a bit unstable at the moment with mockups and version 5 does the job just fine with a little tweaking. So we start by typing forward slash imagine to give a prompt to the AI. Let's do something very basic and ask for a simple poster mockup in a living room. And we're going to specify the aspect ratio, which in our case will be three by two. So I'll just type dash dash AR three by two at the end. As you can see, generating a clean mockup is not that easy because mid journey will add this random text inside the frame which in and of itself isn't a big deal. We would cover that up or remove that in post, but a lot of these objects and some of the furniture are blocking the frame, which would make it difficult to use the mockup properly. So we need to be more specific with our prompts to get as clean images as we can. So let's just give this another shot. Let's ask for a simple mockup of a blank poster in a minimalist living room. And after a couple of seconds, these are the four images that we get. Now, we still have the random text inside the frame despite asking for a blank poster. However, in a few of these images, at least the objects are no longer blocking the frame. Now, I've experimented a lot with these types of prompts to get different types of rooms, get a side view of the frames, have different lighting in each of the images. Using my prompts included in the free guide in the description, these are some of the frame mockups you can create in various rooms and under various lighting situations. If you want to download a specific image, just click on any of the top row buttons right here to download the image that you want. Midjourney will upscale that image for you and you can open it up in your browser and save it to your computer. Now, as good as Midjourney is with coming up with the images, they're super low resolution and not suitable for selling as they are. So we're going to use an AI image upscaler to increase the resolution and quality of our images. Now I personally use a paid tool like Topaz AI for my printable wall art shop, but you can use a tool like upscale.media. The free version allows you to upscale up to 45 images in a month, so you could easily get away with it in the beginning. All you have to do is upload the image into the tool, hit upscale four times and it will do all the work for you. And you can see that there is a big 
difference in resolution between the original and the upscaled version, so I definitely recommend doing this step if you want happy customers. Once you upscaled your mockups, you can basically start selling them right away as PNG or JPEG files. After you sold the mockup, the buyer will be able to drag their art and fit it into the frame on platforms like Canva, Kittle, or Photopea. You can sell the mockups individually by creating a listing for each separately. You can sell them as sets of three, four, or five, or sell them all in a massive all-in-one package like this shop right here. I have a very detailed video coming up next week on how to upload and sell digital files on Etsy, so be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that tutorial. The second way to sell these types of mockups is to import them into Photoshop, make some modifications that I will show you in a second, and sell them as templates for others to edit. Now, I personally prefer to buy mockups in this format because it allows me to more precisely place the art into the frame, and we can also make use of shadows or any sunlight that hits the frame, making the art look that much more realistic. All right, so after you upscaled your image and saved it to your computer, you will need to open it up in Photoshop. So I've got Photoshop open right here, and within in the Photoshop window, go to File, Open, then navigate to your mockup image and click on Open. Now this example we're covering is a mockup that you see from the front and we'll check some other mockups later on in the video. So on the left side here, just click on the Rectangle tool. Now zoom in on the image with Command Plus if you're on a Mac or Control Plus if you're on Windows and click in the upper right corner of the canvas. Make sure to click on the corner within the frame, hold the click and drag it down to draw a rectangle within the frame. Now you will have a black rectangle within the frame itself. Go to the right side here and under appearance, change the fill color from black to white. Hit enter on your keyboard. Further down on the right side, you will have the rectangle layer here. Right click on it and click on convert to smart object. Now let's double check how a piece of art would look like in our mockup. On this rectangle layer here that we just converted, double click on the icon. This will open up the rectangle layer into a separate tab. Now what we want to do is find an image of an art piece. So for example, I have this pattern right here and we want to take it and just drag and drop it onto here. Now we just need to resize it to fit the whole frame by dragging these boxes on the side. Once done, hit enter on your keyboard. To finish up here, click on the eyeball icon next to the rectangle layer to hide the white background underneath the image. Save the file by going to File and Save. Now go back to the previous tab up here and you will see that we have the art inserted into the mockup. The very last thing we need to do is change the blending mode here from normal to multiply and adjust the opacity to about 95%. This will add some more detail back into the image with shadows on the left side here, for example, to make the painting more realistic. You can see the before and after, the difference is subtle, but trust me, paying attention to these details will make your mockup a better product overall. Now, to save the Photoshop file as a template, go back to the rectangle tab up here, click on the art and go to delete. File and save once again to finish, and you can close the rectangle tab now. Finally, you want to save this as a Photoshop document by going to File, Save As, and make sure that under Format, you have Photoshop selected. Save your file and you're pretty much done. When uploading your mockup listing to Etsy, you will just need to add the PSD file you saved. When a customer buys your mockup, they will be able to open the PSD file either in Photoshop or a free alternative called Photopea and add their own artwork into the frame. As I said, you could also include the JPEG and the PNG files into the listing to make your mockup accessible to a wider audience. Now we can check an instance where the mockup can be seen from the side. So I've got my mockup opened up in Photoshop just like before and I want to do the very same thing. I want to go to my rectangle tool on the left side and draw out the rectangle. Now it will not fit into the frame because it's not angled for the moment, but we're gonna fix that in a second. First, convert the rectangle in a smart object like before. Hit Command plus T on your keyboard or Control T if you're on Windows. Right click anywhere on the rectangle and click on Distort. Now you can take the four corners of the rectangle and adjust them into the corners of the frame. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Now let's open up an artwork that we want to check how it would look like in our mockup. So how do we do that? You're gonna double click on the rectangle shape here which will open up your smart object. Then just drag and drop your image into the rectangle and adjust the size to fit the frame. 
file and save. And if we go back to our mockup, you can see the artwork is angled as well, just like the frame. All that's left is to set the blending option from normal to multiply, adjust the opacity to around 95% and that looks good. So we're gonna go back, delete the artwork and just hide the rectangle. And that's how you create a mockup with an angled frame. Now, there are a few more advanced things that we can do with our mockups, like adding the option to adjust the color of the walls, add some extra artifacts like reflections on the artwork and extra shadows in the room. These add some extra dimension to your image and make your mockups more realistic and premium. I'm not going to cover all these advanced adjustments in this video. However, if you'd like me to do a separate tutorial on them, drop a comment and if enough people request it, let's say around 10 people, then I will make that dedicated video. Now, like with any digital product, the obvious benefit here is that other than the mid journey and the Photoshop subscriptions, you don't have any major cost for setting up this business. And the good news is you don't necessarily need mid journey. You could go to a free stock photo database like Unsplash, get your images from there and just work on those instead. Likewise, you don't need Photoshop. You could use Photopea, a free Photoshop alternative, which you can use from your browser to achieve the same results. So, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could start this business completely completely free. The downside is that it takes time and work to put these mockups together if you want to go down the Photoshop route and since Etsy favors shops that add listings regularly, at least in the beginning, you will have to put several hours worth of work into this business to get it up and running. As I said in the beginning of this video, you can sell mockups on Etsy and Creative Market. I buy mockups regularly from Creative Market, however do keep in mind that their fees are quite high, they charge 50% on the list price for each sale. On top of that, you could launch your very own website with a Shopify store and you won't have to pay any transaction fees. However, with a Shopify store, you have to pay a $32 per month subscription and use Facebook or Google ads to drive traffic to your site since you don't have the benefit of a large e-commerce site like Etsy showing your products organically to customers. Another very good option which is sort of the middle ground between all of these is to sell on stock photography sites like Freepik and Varo Elements and Storyblocks. They have different pricing models, they charge based on the annual or monthly subscription fees that they receive from members. I'm going to link down in the description so you can check out their policies and fees should you decide to list your mockups there as well. If you're starting this business, please send me an email. I'd love to see what you create. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.